Why hello! If you've clicked on this video, you're probably interested in checking out more difficult content in Final Fantasy XIV. And maybe you are like I was, feeling nervous, overwhelmed, and a bit intimidated. I mean, looking at one of the guides for these fights, you see a crazy mechanic, followed by an insane mechanic, followed by… yeah, whatever this is, and your eyes begin to spin. Don't worry, you're not alone. I too felt that way. I listened to the voice in my head that said, that looks way too hard. I'm just not good enough to do it, and resigned myself to waiting until I could bulldoze through fights unsynced just to collect the rewards. Yes, I will admit, I was like that. But as I checked off more and more goals, I found that all I had left on the list was the current extreme and savage fights, and it was through a friend's encouragement and guidance that I started farming dragons. Step by step, I found an enjoyment for the harder content that I didn't previously have. So much so, that I've put myself through the roulette that is Party Finder to learn and clear E9, 10, and just the other day, 11s with pugs. Perhaps not the best way of going about it, but I still got it done, and I'm here to say, you can do it too. So what's the appeal of savage raiding? Why do people do it? While some may initially be tempted by rewards like gear, mounts, or glam, they soon find the appeal to be the fights themselves. Having a bit of experience under my belt now, I can tell you that there is such a thrill, such a feeling of accomplishment when you finally knock over the boss that you've been wiping to for hours. That feeling of doing the dance, that flow state when you and all of your party are gliding around the arena, in sync and dangerous, doing big damn. There's nothing like it. There's just nothing like it. It's such a shame that more people don't get to experience it because they're too afraid to try. But hopefully, after watching this video, you'll feel encouraged enough to finally jump in. First, let's dispel some myths. Raiding isn't only for the hardcore, the min-maxers, the world first chasers, and the elite of the elite players. Raiding is accessible to everyone. So to those who maybe feel apprehensive because you think someone will yell at you or kick you for dying, causing a wipe, or being new, rest assured, it's generally not like that. At least, not in my personal experiences. More on this later, because it's time to get to the tips. Tip 1. Come in with a learning mindset. You will die. A lot. You will cause wipes. A lot. And that's okay. That's a normal part of the learning process. With each pull and each death, you get more and more experience, more practice, more comfort and familiarity. Allow yourself to make mistakes and don't beat yourself up over them. No one starts out good. Just like any skill, being good at a fight develops over time and repetition. As long as you strive to do your best and are open and receptive to feedback from other players, no one can ask any more from you. And if someone is being a dick, fuck them, you'll never see them again anyways. Tip 2. Do your homework. Unless you're joining a blind prog, you really should read or watch a guide. This makes learning and progressing through a fight much, much faster, and should be seen as basic etiquette to the rest of your team. Familiarize yourself with the mechanics that you'll encounter. That doesn't mean you have to have them mastered or the order completely memorized before your first pull, but know the general progression of the fight and how mechanics are supposed to be resolved. This way, when you get into the fight, you can spend your time practicing the mechanics versus standing around and talking about them. It's important to note that different data centers may use different strats to resolve specific mechanics, so learn the ones that are popular for your region if you're going to use Party Finder. If you found a static, well, then you're free to choose any strategy you want. Additionally, if you want to get a soft feel for a fight and some of its basic mechanics before heading in, run the normal mode of that encounter. Normal and Savage share base mechanics, so it's a good way to get acquainted with what you'll eventually see. Tip Tray Know your rotation and how to play your job. This should go without saying, but knowing your rotation like the back of your hand 
allows you to commit a majority of your focus and attention on executing the mechanics of the fight. Splitting your attention between your rotation and learning a fight is kind of a recipe for disaster, so make it easy on yourself and pick a job you're comfortable with. One of the more meta aspects of harder content is learning to adjust your rotation to the fight itself. Once you get used to the movement and duration of specific phases, you'll find areas where you can optimize. Greeting an extra GCD here or switching the order of skills over there, Also, that buff windows and combos line up better with the fight and its transitions. Understanding how your job plays will give you the knowledge and experience to become more flexible and fluid with your rotation and allow you to contribute even more to the team. Every little bit counts, especially when going for your first clear. Tip 4. Understand the basic flow of 14 fights. When you see these fights, it can look like chaos. How do you know what to do when and where to be and oh my god all of these markers and AoEs and strange indicators are going off at the same time and take a deep breath, it's often not as bad as it seems. Raids in 14 are designed in a particular way where they will always introduce you to a mechanic before having you execute it in increasing complexity. Then they'll introduce a second mechanic, do the same, before eventually stacking the two mechanics and having you do both at the same time. Then, the boss will do a unique mechanic that has to be solved in a particular way which will come back later in the fight, and you guessed it, it will be stacked with some of the other mechanics you saw before. All the fights are like this, they pile mechanics on top of each other like a Jenga tower or those fluffy souffle pancakes, and through that is the complexity born. But if you can take them apart piece by piece, you'll find that many phases that look complicated and intimidating can actually end up being quite simple. The more familiar you are with the general encounter structure and patterns, the quicker you'll learn and progress through each fight. Tip 5. Come in with some patience. Savage content, especially if you're going the pug and party finder route, is not going to be straightforward. You'll spend a lot of time waiting for groups to fill. You often won't be in control of the speed of your own progression, and you'll probably replay the same 4 minutes over and over and over again when you just wish you could pick up where you left off. While it can be frustrating, remember that your teammates are your teammates, not your enemy. If they give you feedback, try not to take it personally. You all have the same goal and want the same thing, a dead boss and a box full of loot. You may not get it the first or second day you go at it. It could take a week or more, but eventually you'll hit a milestone, and then another and another, and the boss will go down. Just remember, have patience. Tip 6. Practice, 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 and then stop, take a break, come back at it another day, and then practice it some more. What more is there to say? The more times you see these fights, their phases, and their mechanics, the more familiar and comfortable you'll be at doing them. It doesn't matter how many times you die, as long as you're willing to give it another shot. It really is that simple. A lot of focus is put on clearing a fight, but I want to emphasize that part of the enjoyment of Savage content is in the progression itself. The feeling of moving forward, of overcoming, and eventually mastering a mechanic or even a whole encounter can be a source of fun and fulfillment. At least, it is for me, and it should not be overlooked. Progging itself is fun, so don't forget to enjoy the process. And finally, tip 7. Just get in there and do it. The biggest hurdle you face when getting into savage content is yourself. You just gotta get out of your own head and get in there and do the thing, and you'll see it's not as scary as your imagination built it up to be. The more you do it, the more reps and pulls you put in, the easier each encounter will become until you know, like no no, the fight like the back of your hand. You don't need a static to learn, prog, and clear a fight. I'm proof of that, so I don't want to hear any excuses. All you need is a little courage, patience, and perseverance to get the job done. And there you have it, you're now ready to- hold up, what? 
you forgot something. What about Party Finder? <sighs> oh yes, Party Finder. I guess we should talk a bit about that. But I think we'll save that for the next video, part two. <laughs>